let's go to let's go to Tiger Town. John Rittman, friend of the show, head softball coach at Clemson, joins us. Uh, some kind of four game series with Ooh. Duke over the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, we're right here on ACC Network. Coach, congratulations on getting the back end. That was high level all weekend. Uh, that's kind of what you sign up for, I guess, right? Oh, yeah. You know, it's uh, two great teams going at it. Um, you know, we, we lost the first two games on Friday in a doubleheader and, and loved the way our team came back and competed and, and uh, won the last two games. But as a fan, um, if you watch it on TV or if you're fortunate – enough to be here live, uh, just great fast pitch softball all weekend hats off to both teams, just a great series and, and a lot of fun. Coach, I just said to you during the break, the only thing missing, and I know we couldn't have it, but the only thing missing in that series was if we didn't have the pandemic, can you imagine the crowds? Mm. I mean, as fired up as people are for softball and what you built in such a short period of time. And you got one team with a 17 game winning streak, another one with an 18 game winning streak, uh, that would have been insane in, in Tiger Town if under that scenario. It was still great, split a four-game series both ways, but that was the only thing missing that would have made it perfecto. Well, yeah, I agree, Mark. And you know, what's amazing is we had, I think, officially announced 372 people there, and the atmosphere was still electric. I mean, those 372 were making as much noise as if it was sold out. It seemed like at times during that game, especially to close out the series yesterday, but yeah, it's just unfortunate, but you know, we count our blessings. We're, we're happy to be playing um, and, and playing at a high level against a great team. And, and um, you know, like I said, during the pandemic, you just take what you get and, and uh, feel grateful for it. Coach, let's go to the the concepts here of what we're seeing, though. We're seeing these four-game series. I mean, you had Duke at Clemson this weekend. North Carolina scheduled to visit for four this week. You're 22-4. and four. I jokingly said to break, it's like season 1.5 for Clemson softball. Um, we're, we're in this kind of deal where spring sports has been reshuffled, and yet we were just talking about this with women's basketball earlier where you got two national teams, Louisville and NC State, who've helped the rest of the league. We know Florida State's been good for a long time. Now it looks like the rest of the league. I mean, you're 22 and four. You're having a really, really good year. But I get the sense that the rest of the league is moving well up the chain, too. This is not just a singular moment for you, it's everybody's taking advantage of these uh, improvements, if you will, as softball reconvenes. Yeah, no question at all. I mean, if you look at our conference top to bottom, every team has improved, even the teams that you know, um, have been in the lower half of the conference, they're better, you know, and I, in fast pitch softball, like baseball, I mean, a lot of it deals with your pitching. You got to have a, a strong pitching staff and especially us going from a three game to a four game series this year. I mean, it's, it's still a game where if you don't have pitching, it makes it tough to win. Um, but if you look at our, our league, our conference, every team has improved. And, uh, mm. you know, certainly with two new teams in Clemson and Duke, um, you know, playing at a high level right now, it's it's boosted the conference. And, you know, you have your, your, your schools that have been traditionally, you know, powerhouses in Florida State, Virginia Tech, North Carolina, you know, but North Carolina State, Louisville, all of, all of these teams in our league, like I said, have, have improved. So um, it makes for interesting weekends. It, it, it bodes well for the conference on the national scene. And, and I think you'll see it pay dividends in postseason. Coach, uh, were the cartwheels part of the contract? I'm just asking. Was that was, it, now, was that I'm negotiated? Gonna, gonna How that work? <laughs> I'm going to clarify this because I got lit up on Twitter last night. That that was our associate head coach, Jameson, <laughs> not me. I, he did it much better than I would have executed that cartwheel. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, how'd that get started, by the way? You know, last year I think we uh, we had a big series win, and and our uh, sports performance coach Metzger is a gymnast, and she she did a flip, and we got a couple other kids that can do some flips, and you know, I mean, with this with this age, you dance when you win, like the football team. So we we certainly want to partake in some good times after big wins, and it's fun to see our team enjoy it and embrace it and, and do some crazy stuff. Well, I want to tell you, it's uh, 
it's fun to see spring sports getting the opportunity to celebrate, Coach. I mean, let's be honest. This uh, We were talking to Manny Diaz. This is a lot better than what we were going through a year ago, right? No question. And, I, you know, it's like I said earlier, we're so grateful. And our, our medical staff and the people that have to get us on the field to play have done a phenomenal job. Um, you know, and, and certainly there's setbacks. And we've had some players that have been out because of COVID. Um, related stuff and and you know you just you really got to pinch yourself and take it one day at a time and just be grateful that we're playing the game that we love I was kidding around with you before the break because I was catching the tail end yesterday between basketball and stuff Uh, Cagle comes in to close it out and uh, man there's enough three two counts I I tell you what if I saw another (laughs) three two count I was gonna go order another donut or or ten uh, and drive a, it'll drive a coach crazy, those three two counts. Well, boy, she has been great, not only pitching, but also hitting the softball, right? I mean, she's really been all-purpose, all-world terrific. Yeah, I was I was telling Patrick, our, our media relations person here, that, man, she's worth the price of admissions. I mean, she can do it all. I mean, this weekend she hit, she hit for power, she drove in runs. Um, she pitched phenomenally in the circle. We put her in the outfield and, and they have Deja Davis on second base, their fastest player and fly ball to right. And she gets an assist and throws her out at third. I mean, she, she's just phenomenal and, and, uh, just so happy. She's a Clemson tiger. I'll tell you that. But, uh, yeah, yesterday in that ninth inning, you know, we got nine, one, two coming up. And uh, Jacobson, their three-hole hitter, is just eating us up all weekend. So we didn't want to have to pitch to her. Well, Cable goes 0-2 on their nine hitter and then walks her on four straight. So <laughs> here we go, you know. And and uh, But she buckled down and, and came in. And the last out of the, the game was just a bang-bang play at first. So yeah. a lot of high stress in that last inning. But uh, that's what fast pitch softball is. It's a quick, you know, fast-paced game. And – uh, Valerie, just phenomenal. Like you said, she, she's worth the price of admission. All right, John, what's, um, what's the story on 72 as a Jersey number though? There's gotta be something there, right? There is. And, uh, she asked me when we recruited her, if she could wear, you know, a, a different type of number, I guess, 72. I said, I don't care what number you want. You can wear whatever you want. And she goes, well, I want to wear 72. And, and I said, well, is there, a, is there a reason why you want 72? And she goes, yeah, well, I always wanted to hit 72 on the, on the radar gun, you know, and I, I think she's accomplished that feat a couple times this year. So that's, that's the story behind hmm. 72. You know what? I How thought you were going to tell me, I thought you were going to tell me because the softball field is built where the old golf team used to hit golf balls. <laughs> Oh, that uh, 72 is the even par magic number back in my day. Of course, kids go shoot 64 today. I thought 72, you're going to give me a little pack. We still got divots down that third base line story. I was waiting for that one, but I guess not. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's not, but you know, it's my day off today. So I'm, I'm hoping to hit the bell for a little golf this afternoon and go. enjoy this good weather. And we still chip out here in Jervy Meadow. Now it's, it's a good ah. place to, to kind of get get your chipping game under control. Well, if you, I tell you what, if you're well, gonna but, go, play, are you gonna play the Walker course? Or are you going to Basketball? What, which where are you going today? I love them both. Today I'm going to the Bell. Yeah, right. it's, it's my type okay. of golf out there. Now remember, I'll just tell you one bit of advice about Basketball. I, I take this from my <laughs> days of playing at Clemson. Don't hit it left of the green on number two because there's bamboo and out of bounds on the left. I'm just going to tell you yeah. that right now. That bamboo on two is a problem. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I've been there many times, and, and they're building <laughs> houses over there now. They're building yeah. some houses over there. So it's, it's yeah. But yeah, I've been in that bamboo. <laughs> yeah, I have too. It's not pleasant. No, this is not the pleasant. this is the part of the program where I need to remind Coach Ripman that Packer has not attempted a swing competitively in 23 years. 23. Right, Pac? 20, 24 yeah. now. 24. 24. Sorry. Well, 24. He, yeah, Gigi just gonna, turned 24. He's going to pick up some fencing and and uh, maybe get back on yeah. the course. Yeah, fencing. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. You, you stay well. tuned for the tail end of the show, Coach. I'm going to tell you why the fencing <laughs> thing ain't going to happen. I'm getting ready to tell you. I've got some, I got some keen research as to why the fencing's not happening. Uh, but, uh, hey, John, thanks, uh, thanks as always for the time. Uh, big series with North Carolina. 
uh, home series for the Tigers at McWhorter starts on Thursday. We always appreciate the time. Look forward to following your group the rest of the spring. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Go Tigers.